and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So I, well, this topic has been coming up a lot for me recently and discussing it in my Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook and on Instagram, I realized that this was a topic I really wanted to cover because it had just been so prominent in my life at the moment. So at the beginning of November, you know, big things happened in my life. I sold my couponing business and I also became a best-selling author on day one of pre-order, which was just phenomenal. Like my mind was literally blown. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like what? Like people have bought my book, this is crazy. So two massive celebrations like of like massive manifestations happened in my life all in the space of a few weeks and I knew that for once instead of just being grateful for a moment being happy and then being like okay next manifestation I wanted to really slow down and honor my journey be really grateful and just embrace that moment be present in that moment celebrate with my friends and family and just embrace the moment be present and celebrate because I don't really celebrate and I will hold my hands up and say that like in the past I have been rubbish like when something big happens when something like monumental happens in my career or I'm like oh my god this is massive I just don't celebrate and I think it's because I used to be such a control freak so therefore like everything became kind of one big manifestation checklist so every time I would hit a manifestation I'd just be like great tick right next one and what that was doing was not allowing me to be like truly truly grateful for the universe bringing this manifestation to me for my hard work of you know helping this manifestation or working hard or whatever it is like I wasn't honoring myself my journey or the universe so I just really wanted to actually for once just witness that witness that and be like okay now like two massive things have happened in my life let's just slow down let's just enjoy the journey honor the journey take a little bit of time out and just celebrate like do something which i wouldn't normally do in my everyday life to celebrate and honor this so i was all like yep okay i'm not just gonna like be like right next manifestation i'm really gonna like be present i'm really gonna be on it and i'm really gonna witness that I used to be like a checklist freak and that now I really want to just honor, relax and be grateful for the journey, like really show my gratitude for these two incredible achievements. So for once in my life, I was really grateful. I was like, yeah, I want to celebrate. I want to do something great. But the people in my life didn't all reflect the same values. And this is where my problem came in because it wasn't that I wanted validation from people. I didn't need validation from people. I gave myself that validation just like I do with everything I do. I never need anybody's validation to celebrate, to do anything, to feel good, never. But when you want to celebrate and you want to do something, you kind of don't want to do that on your own. So for me, it was more of a case of, well, I'm gonna need to like do something with somebody. Um, so I think it's more of a generational thing. Like I feel like my family just, I feel like in their rise, celebrations are like engagements, pregnancies, marriages, um, buying your first home. Whereas like for me right now, none of that's happening. It's more becoming a best-selling author at 25 and selling your first business at 25, which I think is phenomenal. Like if my child did that, I would be like, we're going on holiday, like let's celebrate. And what I was asking for to celebrate was literally just like a meal out, go and do something for the day like literally I was not like let's go to Bali like <laughs> definitely not and obviously I was really understanding that people have like work commitments children all of the above like totally accepting of all of it so I was really relaxed I was really like when it's meant to happen it will happen um and my friends were amazing like Hannah sent me some lovely flowers like me and Selena planned to do stuff so like my friends were really good but I just felt <laughs> that like some people in my life just weren't getting it. And I was like, guys, I'm just asking for us to go out and do something fun. You don't have to celebrate my victories. Let's just go out and do something fun. So eventually they did, they got the message, but it's pretty much me just booking it and saying, right, we're doing this, turn up basically. Um, and I'm fine with that. But I feel like we, because maybe people in our life don't always celebrate or think of our achievements on the same level as we see our achievements we don't celebrate we take it as like oh i don't want to cause a fuss i don't want to be a pain i don't want to like 
make it all about me or anything. Um, but I think that's the whole complete wrong way to look at it because we need to celebrate ourselves more. Like in the UK, we celebrate the royals like there is no tomorrow. Royal baby, celebration. Something the queen does, we get a day off. We have the day off work when it's the royal weddings and have street parties, but we don't celebrate our own achievements, victories, no matter how big or small. And don't wait until it has to be something big to celebrate. You know, if you've just launched your business, celebrate that, that's an incredible achievement. Like you've launched, you've got that far, you've you know followed your passion, you've followed your purpose. So celebrate that, you know, it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be expensive. What I'm trying to say here is it's all about the celebrating in general, you know, slowing down, stopping. So it doesn't have to be lavish, it just has to be something you wouldn't normally do, something out of the ordinary where you can just honour yourself, honour your journey and really feel grateful for yourself, for the universe. Like these are massive manifestations that happen and I just feel we bypass it. Like maybe we stop and feel grateful for a second. Maybe we're just like, oh, yeah, but if anybody's like me, like that's it. You're then like, okay, next manifestation, next goal. Like, you're always striving for the next goal, the next manifestation. And it's like, do we ever truly stop and just be like, do you know what? I've done amazing. Like this has been an incredible achievement. I'm really happy and I'm gonna celebrate this. And celebrating this is really important because not only does it really just give you some time off, give you an excuse to celebrate, give you an excuse to do something fun and cool and something you wouldn't normally do with your friends, family, partner, whatever. It's saying, universe, I'm grateful. Like, thank you so much for bringing this into my life. I'm really happy. And I'm gonna celebrate you and celebrate me by celebrating life. And at the end of the day, it is celebrating life. You know, don't wait until Thanksgiving. Like, at the moment, we're in the period of like festiveness, Thanksgiving, Christmas. You know, this is the season of gratitude where we can give thanks for all the amazing things that have happened throughout 2018, that we can just give thanks in general. But why do we wait until that? Like, we shouldn't just celebrate life Life on those days we should celebrate life every single day and you know special achievements that we do or anything that we achieve should be celebrated it should be really celebrated and you know we should feel good about that because the more we feel good the more we allow ourselves to feel that gratitude to celebrate and feel good we're putting out a really positive grateful vibration so the more we celebrate the more we're going to attract reasons to celebrate the more we're going to feel good the more we're going to feel grateful which automatically attracts even more reasons to be grateful so it's really like a boomerang effect you know by taking that time to honor yourself on your journey and just see how far you've come you may not be at your end goal yet but if you can still celebrate and be like do you know what this is still a massive massive achievement that is honouring your journey and being grateful for every single stage and saying, do you know what? Even if nothing else was to happen, like past this point, I've done really well. I've come really far. This is my journey. This is my growth. Like be grateful for the growth you've gone through this journey as well, because you will have up leveled. You would have learnt new things. You would have maybe had some lessons, some tests. So all of these things are reasons to celebrate. All of these things, like no matter how big or small the win is in life or the victory, like celebrate that because you deserve to celebrate that. Why would you not deserve to celebrate? all of the incredible things like your dreams coming into fruition, manifestations, businesses, successes, whatever it is, you know, celebrate this and celebrate it in a way that feels good for you. Like it doesn't have to be splurging loads of, loads of money, not at all. Like literally people ask me, they're like, what's the first thing you brought when you sold your business? And I was like, a phone case. I literally brought a phone case because I needed one, mine had broken. So it wasn't even just a lavish like purchase. I generally needed one because my other one had broken. Um, and I have literally invested a little bit into my spiritual business, i.e. a new website and um, a new product that's coming out really, really soon. So literally that's it. That's all I've spent the money on because that money is to be invested in my future. You know, I want to grow it. It's to be invested. I don't want to just go and splash it. So I just went for an afternoon tea with my parents. Like that's something I really wanted to do. It's something I hadn't done in a long while. So I just thought, do you know what? I love food and I love afternoon tea. So let's go and do it. Um, so it was just something really simple for me, but it meant a lot because it just gave me that chance to celebrate and there were other ways that I can celebrate as well with my friends and my partner like you know 
I found all the ways to celebrate, multiple times to celebrate. But for me, I knew that it was important. So when people were just like, oh, I can't really be bothered or whatever, I was like, well, I'm bothered and I'm making it happen. So don't let people talk you out of celebrating. Don't let people talk you out of your success, your success being a success. Like you define what a success is, what a win is, what a victory is, what a manifestation is. So feel good for that, feel grateful for that and celebrate with the people who do want to celebrate with you and are gonna raise those vibes and feel good because remember like the more positive vibes you put out there, the more grateful you feel for all of this, you're just gonna attract even more good vibes and positivity. So let's start celebrating life more. You know, you don't have to have sold a business or have a best-selling book, like obviously they're quite grand examples, but for me, like this was a massive achievement to be able to be like, I celebrated, I stopped, I was really grateful and I still am really grateful. And I celebrate in a way that felt good to me. It didn't have to be lavish, it didn't have to be whatever. It was just something that felt really good to me and I really enjoyed. And that's all the part of celebrating life, you know celebrating how far we've come, celebrating all aspects of life, all aspects. Like, let's not just celebrate the big things like marriage, homes, babies, engagements. Like, let's celebrate everything. Why not? Who defines what we should celebrate? We should celebrate everything. We should be celebrating that we're breathing right now and that we're here and we're learning and that all the wonderful things in this world. It's all just an expression of gratitude. Like, celebrating is just really being grateful for yourself, for the people who have helped you, for the universe, for everything. So it's really just one big gratitude party, absolute gratitude party to just be like, yes, I'm alive, I've done this, this is amazing, it's helped people, these people have helped me, so I'm gonna say thank you, or the universe like has brought this, thank you universe, and my hard work, thank you. So it's all just a big gratitude uh, a gratitude party to just be like thank you thank you thank you thank you for this coming into my life and for it being a success or whatever like it it's all about these little moments of gratitude and like I said the more gratitude you give the more you're gonna get back for sure so I'm gonna challenge you to celebrate more what can you do to celebrate today doesn't have to be big it can literally just be treating yourself to a glass of wine going out for a meal a bit of cake, whatever, like whatever floats your boat, what can you do today to celebrate more of your successes? And can you find any situations in your life where you can slow down a bit, honor your journey and stop making it one big checklist? Like get really, really grateful for your journey and how far you've come and all the successes you've had along the way. So thank you so much guys for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. As always, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on celebrating, what you're gonna do to celebrate more and any situations that you can talk about, about celebrating, which you may feel help people because I'm sure they would love to know. But thank you guys for all your views and likes. I appreciate them all. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I'll see you in my next video which will be next week. Lots of love guys!